Kilauea erupts after a three-month pause. The lava lake is rising again in Halemaumau Crater. It all began with a series of earthquakes overnight. Then the lava burst from the crater floor at 445 this morning with the initial fountains shooting as high as 200 feet. Taking you live to Kilauea now, the USGS says multiple minor lava fountains are now active on the crater floor. One fissure remains active on the southwest wall of the caldera. As of about 3 this afternoon, the fountains were shooting up to 30 feet high. Oh, how exciting. Officials say there's no threat to the public. All the lava is contained to the crater. It's just a spectacular natural wonder and cultural event, too. We have team coverage on the eruption tonight, starting with our Casey Lund, live at Kilauea with the latest at the scene. Casey? Oh, Keahi, and I'm so grateful to be here as always because this is such a special thing to see and such a special thing to share, not only uh, with our viewers, but a lot of the visitors that are here out of state. And before I show you some of the crowds here at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, I'm going to step out of the way because I want to get you right down to the lava there. Those fountains uh, that are really going off right now, not quite as uh, uh, exciting as it was earlier this morning, but still really something to see. And if we can get down there, uh, uh, closer to the fountains that you see and if I had to take a quick guess I would tell you that those are probably somewhere around 40 to 50 or 60 feet. Uh, we know that earlier uh, this morning when the eruption event started here around 440 this morning uh, some of the scientists that we talked to from USGS HVO estimated that first eruptive event that broke through the core or the crust I should say uh, to be somewhere between the vicinity of two to three hundred feet uh, and it's drawing a crowd. I want to zoom back out if we can and we're going to be showing you quite a bit of that. Uh, if we can, we'll spin things around here. I want to show you some of the folks that we have lined up here. This is along the crater rim at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, and this is just a small grouping of some of the people that we have here. People have been flocking to the park, excited to see this, and for good reason. So a reminder, we're going to be talking about... Wave hello. We've got some friends from Utah here. We'll put them on. They wanted to get on, and I'm glad we got them on. Thank you, guys. They're all being so patient, too, because uh, this is a very small viewing area. Area, and we're, of course, taking up a lot of space, so we want to mahalo them uh, for letting us stand here for so long. So we'll swing the camera back around. We've got so much to talk about here at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, the second eruption event uh, going on in 2023. Of course, we remember the first one uh, back in January. Uh, it ended uh, shortly after this spring. That was uh, during the Mauna Loa excitement. So much to talk about. Stay with us on Hawaii News Now. Some of the greatest images are online at our website. Let's send things over and continue our team coverage. Eddie Dowd has more on what happened this morning. Eddie. Thanks, Casey. And I know you were there in January when uh, it erupted again. That eruption lasted 61 days. People on the Big Island tell us it was the middle of the night when they got signs that it was about to happen again. This live video, timestamped at 4.44 a.m., captures the moment lava erupted from Hale Ma'u Ma'u Crater Wednesday morning. Uh, this was after a period of several hours of, of earthquakes leading up to it in a period of just over an hour of intense activity when we raised the alert level, uh, letting people know that there was a good probability of an eruption happening. The, the one at two o'clock was, was quite big. This family visiting from Texas says the quakes woke them up in the middle of the night. The, the shakes were scary. I've never That's experienced yeah, an earthquake just... and we, we all like really woke up, um, but uh, didn't expect that, did not expect to see this. Hawaii County Mayor Mitch Roth says he was alerted minutes after the eruption. I think I got a call about 5 o'clock this morning. He says at this time, there is no immediate threat to the public. As far as endangering anybody, it's not endangering anyone. We're not opening up our emergency operations center. Hawaii Emergency Management issued a red alert for the area at 5 a.m. as a precaution, advising residents to stay indoors due to the possibility of ash fall and volcanic glass that could be airborne. Until we start to see some of the data coming in as far as how much SO2 is being emitted, uh, how much glass is being emitted, we won't have a great sense of uh, what the threat is to uh, breathing in the area or to the aviation. We do have a little concern, especially on the first day with the gases coming out, uh, with the trade winds going down to our Pahala. You know, people with respiratory issues may have some, some issues uh, today. But uh, all in all, it's uh, spectacular and a great time to visit the volcano. 
Visitors could be seen flocking to Volcanoes National Park as the sun came up to see the eruption for themselves. And we are flying out today, so like in a few hours. We can't believe we've gotten this lucky. This yeah, is amazing. Yeah, once in a lifetime. And park staff tell us they are expecting thousands of people to come out to see this latest eruption. So why not sending back back to Casey? Casey, park officials are asking visitors to keep some things in mind when they're coming to see the eruption. Yeah, namely, Eddie, thank you so much for the coverage and walking us back to uh, what happened throughout the morning and, and all that. It, it was uh, really fascinating to be part of that during sunrise. We're going to have more coverage. But as you mentioned, uh, Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, they want people to stay in these safe, legal viewing areas. When we came here earlier this evening, there was a gal standing right on the edge. It's a really bad idea because a lot of that is really unstable ground. So stay where things are taped off. Uh, drive slowly. There's so much foot traffic. There's so much traffic here at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Park, and it's only going to get busier as this eruption event continues. There's some really amazing places to see the lava. Up here by Jagger Museum, around by Devastation, and Kanakakoi is one of the cooler places you can see it. You can come down a little closer. We may try and show you that during sunrise, so make sure you tune in uh, for that. But again, just be safe, be courteous to the other people that are at the park, and of course, the people that call this place home. It's such a sacred place and a sacred time for them, so keep that in mind when you visit. Guys, we'll send things back into the studio for now. Well, what a sight, though. Happy to be here. Yeah, good stuff. Casey and Eddie, mahalo to you both. Hawaii's Emergency Management Agency has issued a red alert advising nearby residents to stay indoors due to the ash and Pele's hair drifting downwind, and VOG is another possible threat. We have to hope that the uh, north, northeast trade winds stay with us uh, to keep the, the worst effects of this VOG away from Oahu. Kilauea is below the trade wind inversion, which is at about 7,000 feet and Kilauea is more like 3,000 feet, so you can see that plume, it's moving into uh, the lower atmosphere where it does affect uh, the local residents. Our chief meteorologist Jennifer Robbins has more on the eruption and the weather conditions now. Jen? In fact, we do have a special weather statement by the National Weather Service. With that ash cloud earlier this morning after the earthquakes and eruption itself. And now ashfall is being reported, especially over Kau. And we'll be watching that very carefully. And we're seeing VOG being drifted over Puna and South Kona. And then ash is powdered rock, sort of like the dust that you see at a construction site. Well, it's not poisonous, but it can irritate your eyes and also your throat. So just keep that in mind. Be safe if you're on Hawaii Island and stay indoors. And taking a close look at the wind flow. We're talking about hoping to have those trade winds. Well, they're going to last throughout the week. In fact, getting stronger within the next 24 hours. But through Kau, we'll likely see it highly concentrated with the volcanic haze and VOG will continue to linger there. And if you're looking at Makai, if you're just south on Molokai and you could also see that places like Kihei and you're looking Makai a little bit hazy out there, even though the trade winds are with us. I'll take a deeper look at your first alert seven day forecast coming up shortly. Thank you, Jen. And check out our Hawaii News Now digital platforms for eruption extras and stay with us on air for the latest breaking news.